Hello everyone, this is HGJ Halloween, and today I am back with another Spirit Halloween 2017 sneak peek. Now before I get started with this video, I would like to touch on something that happened last night. Last night, both of the themes for 2017 were leaked by a YouTuber. I will not be saying his name in this video in order to not make him get any more hate or views on his videos. But I'm sure a good bit of you watching this video already know who I'm talking about. He angered a lot of people because he released pictures of the front theme that were definitely not supposed to be released. And as far as I know the story, basically what happened was someone who works for Spirit Halloween sent a few people pictures of these themes, and then some of those people who are not trustworthy people ended up spreading them around and sending them to everyone, so a lot of people have these photos in their possession. But this specific YouTuber decided that it would be a good idea to release them in the form of a video on his channel. Now, I do not know if he's going to be getting into any serious trouble for this, but what I do know is that he did put someone at risk of losing their job at Spirit, so it was just altogether one of the dumbest ideas ever, and he's losing a lot of respect because of it. Now, I realize that a lot of you are going to be like, damn, you're being pretty hypocritical because I kind of released a leak video. Um, I leaked photos of the Levitator girl recently. And I realized that that was wrong and that I shouldn't be leaking things. Last year, I didn't even know anything about leaking. I didn't even know that it was possible to find this stuff. I was new here, so when I got a link, um, actually, the link was leaked by the same person. Surprise, surprise. But... When I saw the link and I saw these pictures, I thought, wow, this is really cool. You know, I have access to the link. I didn't hack anything. So I didn't feel like I was in the wrong, but I know about what happened last year now, and I know that what I was doing was not okay. And for those of you that don't know about this link incident or don't understand these links, the links are created so that Spirit Halloween can easily transfer the um, props from this makeshift URL over to their official website. And the way you can access this is spirithalloween.com slash product slash and then there's six numbers and then dot UTS. So I don't know if the same person that leaked them is the person that cracked them, but once we saw the links on Spirit's official website to the actual animatronics, those six digits are in there as well, so it's really easy to know what number range all of the props fall under, and you just change one digit and you can see all of the props. Now don't jizz your pants quite yet. Those links do not work anymore. That's why I'm telling you this. If they still worked, then I would have just basically leaked a ton of information to everyone. But you cannot find these props anymore. And they probably removed them because of people like me leaking the props. So I again apologize for that. So it is not okay to leak the props. It is not okay to leak the themes. When I talked about uh, the themes being confirmed in the other video, the names that I said were not the actual names of it. I was just trying to say they're in the general realm of that, um, just so I could kind of talk about what prop would fit into what theme. However, um, one of the things that I said wasn't even close because there's actually fed false information from the same person once again. And just so I don't get into any trouble, I will continue to refer to the themes as the cabin in Area 51 until I go to Spirit and take pictures through the window. And if I'm able to see enough of the theme, then I'll go ahead and leak it to you guys, I guess. But they can't get me in trouble for taking pictures of a store. So it feels kind of weird to not be able to refer to the themes as their actual names, even though I know them, but it's okay, guys. Just bear with me. I'm going to go to Spirit and get pictures. But one thing I would like to say is that the front theme this year, or the quote-unquote cabin, as I'm going to be referring to it until I get the pictures, is really, really cool, guys. It's interactive. You can walk through it. Um, it's going to be amazing. You better go hit up your local spirit because this is probably going to go down as one of the best themes in history. So I'm sorry I just talked for four minutes about all of that stuff. I promise I will never talk about it again. I just wanted to get it out of the way, and I didn't talk about it in my earlier video for my 2017 haunt. Um, I mean, uh, 
haunted house idea video because I wanted that to be solely about my haunted house. So sorry I just took up so much time talking about nonsense. Let's move on to talking about this towering clown. Now, even though Spirit Halloween just released this prop, this prop has been released by a few other companies. No, it was not leaked. It was officially released by a few other companies. Um, and so I have already seen this prop. It's a Seasonal Visions prop, which is good. Seasonal Visions tends to make really high quality props compared to like techie toys. And it's just this six and a half foot clown. It turns like all of the towering props do, and its head also moves, its mouth moves, and it has some really creepy phrases. So, as always, before I go any further into talking about it, let me go ahead and show you the video. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to play hide and seek with. You go hide and I'll come find you. <laughs> Start running! So some of you may notice that I was not recording a screen and that was the actual video. And some of you also may have noticed that in the bottom left corner was Halloween Haunt Guy's watermark. I want to give a huge thanks to Halloween Haunt Guy. I've had trouble screen recording. I cannot get it to work with my editing, what I, how I edit. I can't get it to work. I can't get the video. Um, and I've tried really hard. I'm going to continue to try. But Halloween Haunt Guy is the GOAT. He gave me the video. Uh, just want to thank him so much for that. And he will probably continue to be giving me videos in the future until I can get this damn screen recorder to work. So anyways, the link to his original video will be in the description. So this is a really cool clown prop. Seasonal Visions really outdid themselves. I normally do not like clown props, but this one is just different to me. It's got a lot of character. The detail is amazing. It's really creepy too. I like its insanely long legs. It almost makes it look like it was like a distortion and like a nightmare or something. It's really freaky looking. And one thing Halloween Honk I noticed right away that I've also noticed is that in the other videos that the other companies release, sorry, I do not know what they are, the head actually moves from side to side. And this is a cool feature of the prop that we do not see in Spirit Halloween Sneak Peek. And this is strange because they normally don't use defective props. I mean, why would they use defective props? So um, I don't know if this was the only one they had available or if they didn't notice. I have a hard time believing they didn't notice that their own prop wasn't working. But either way, this is still a really cool clown prop. I normally don't pick up clown props just because if you're going to have a clown prop, you got to have a clown theme, and I just don't really have any clown themes. But maybe future years. Maybe I'll get this guy on clearance because um, I might be planning on doing a clown theme in future years. And this guy is $200, which I think is a really reasonable price. It's kind of funny how High Voltage Fenced in Zombie, yeah, did you forget about that one, is $229.99, so it's even more expensive than this six and a half foot towering prop that has a ton of animation. So even though I probably won't be picking him up this year, I'm super excited to see him in stores. But wait, actually, it's not confirmed if he's going to be in stores yet. I personally don't think that he will. Um, I don't know if on uh, that person's video where they like the themes, if it said that or not. But there is not going to be an entire clown theme this year, so I don't see him really fitting into the themes. And I have a feeling he's just going to be an online prop. But I would love to see them in stores, and at this point, Spirit Halloween basically does these general themes that they can fit almost any prop in, so he could be there. So anyways, guys, that's all I gotta say about this clown. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and go and check out my 2017 Haunted House Idea video. That would mean a lot. Sorry that this video ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be. It seems like all my videos end up being pretty long, but thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.